This is Spencer Patrick and welcome to A Word of Faith. Praise God. Today I would like to talk with you about make a joyful noise or we can call it get loud. Get loud for God. God wants you to have the best and the greatest and the, but the important thing is how are you responding to get into the best and the greatest. Let's turn to Psalm 100. I'm going to read verses 1 through 5. Verses 1 through 5. Psalm 100 says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Psalm 100 verses 1 through 3. Make a joyful shout to the Lord of you lands, all you lands. So serve the Lord with gladness. The other day, you know, we had finished uh, worship practice. Normally we come to church in the morning, um, the worship team practices, and then after that we have a little bit of prayer time. A lot of us kind of mill around the, um, the, the stage and around the stage area there. and We just kind of wait on the Lord, we just pray, and it's usually pretty quiet. But last Sunday, I really felt the Lord speaking to me. I felt the Lord saying to me, make a joyful noise, get loud. So you know what I did? I did something different. I said, Lord, okay, I hear you speaking to me. See, when God speaks to you, He speaks to your spirit. I didn't hear here, I heard here. And I said, okay, Lord, I'll do it. So then I started to just say, thank you, Father. When we, when we started doing that prayer time, I just, I just made a joyful noise. I said, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you for your blessings on this church. Thank you for the more people that you're bringing into this church today. And I thank you that they will accept you as their personal Lord and Savior. And, and uh, I thank you for more Japanese. And I just started thanking him for all the good things. And, and it was amazing. It was amazing. It just brought the spirit up in our, in our prayer time, you know, the, the seven or eight of us that were there. It says in verse 4, Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. You know, this is how we are supposed to go come to church. I met with a friend, he's a... Uh, uh, he is a member of the Mormon Church, and we were talking about worship the other day. It was it was pretty fun because um, in the Mormon Church, the worship is singing a psalm. And he was asking, "Well, what do you guys do for worship?" And I explained to him, "For us, worship is we open with the psalm, and then we just we just open up our hearts and we just start to sing praises and worship. We worship through music, and we and it's and we just open up and we just take our time." And that's exactly what you're doing here in Psalm 100. And that's exactly what I was doing in, in the beginning of the prayer time before service. Just saying, Father, I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for blessing my family. I thank you for blessing my health. I thank you for blessing my business. And it just goes on and on. You have so many things you can thank the Lord for. So today, I want to encourage you that when you have your time alone with the Lord, or even when you're at a prayer meeting or something like that, don't feel ashamed. Don't feel scared. Don't feel, um, uh, well, well, let's put it this way. Be bold. Be bold and just thank the Lord. And just say, and thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His kindness. Thank Him for everything He's doing. And thank Him for what you're expecting because God, He, he, he loves to hear the prayers of His people. God loves to see faith. And faith is believing. So you can, you can say, thank you, Father, that your presence is in this place. Thank you, Father, for healing so-and-so. Thank you, Father, for a financial breakthrough for so-and-so. So you can just thank Him because faith is believing. But get loud about it. Don't be shy. Get loud! And praise God. I just want to just encourage you to be loud and make a joyful noise because God wants to move through you. And the, some of the best ways to move is, is we move ourselves is by speaking out. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Romans 10, 17. Praise God. This is Spencer Patrick and I want to thank you for joining me on A Word of Faith. Something good is going to happen to you today because you believe. Hallelujah.